you receive the information, Deep State is coming back. The story from the first season ended, but we have still something for you. What was your reaction? Um, uh -oh. Yeah, <laughs> here we go again. Um, I mean, delighted though, right? Because yeah, it was never guaranteed that we were going to get a second season. And I think, I mean, I certainly felt there was much more to explore with, with the characters, or both of our characters particularly. <laughs> and also maybe a few new ones. Or well, some wanted. old ones that were brought back. Yeah, maybe a few of them too. <laughs> so, you know, I just think Matthew Parkhill is such a talented man that it, the opportunity to like jump back into his brain was 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 fantastic. Yeah, I'm delighted to be a part of like a responsible entertainment entertainment mm. with a rentertainment. Yeah, rentertainment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but reading the script, were you looking for something new, something that you didn't show in the first season to hook the uh, the audience, and did you find it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's, a, it's an entirely different. Um, well, I mean, it expands on the themes explored in season one, but we're sort of looking at the shadow wars that are being conducted as we speak for the resources of our future. So it's, it's, it's something that we were talking about earlier that isn't really in the headlines, although mm. it's bubbling away. Um, so it's an interesting subject matter. And also, we sort of split time between um, past and present. Yeah, four which, years gap. Which take place actually six months. The past takes six months. Mm. Takes uh, place six months before season one, and the present taking place six months after season one. So, for us, it's it's quite uh, exciting to kind of just jump into different different timelines and and keep us on our toes. And um, as Joe said, there's a whole plethora of new actors. Because you play the same characters, but uh, very differently. Because as you said, one uh, the past tense is your. You're fresh, you're new, you don't have the, all the things that happened during the first season and what happens here. Uh, so was it different to find this line to, you know, jump as an actor, from the actual point of view, to jump in your head, past, future? Yeah, I think it was, it certainly, as Karima said, kept us on our toes. I think we had to do quite a lot of rereading of scripts and just to get our bearings and work out where, because obviously we didn't shoot in sequence yeah. at all. So just to just to make sure that you knew where you were in the story. But also, you know, as an actor, I think it was it was great being able to play these characters that you've met and become familiar with in season one, but to see them in two very different places to where you saw them even in season one. And the contrast between the, the past and the present storyline in season two is so marked that it's it's a lot of fun to to play those two sides of the coin. You know, we as you said, you get to see these characters when they're a little bit younger, a little bit more fresh, less jaded, a bit more relaxed and a bit more open. Um, and then to see them in the present day storyline where they're, they're so adrift, the pair of them, they're so disillusioned. They've been on this journey through season one that where they thought they'd found their calling and they thought they'd found a job in which they could make a real difference and it made no difference. And to see what that's done to them in contrast to the optimism that they started out with in the past storyline, I think was really interesting to play, and I hope it's really interesting to watch as well. These are characters that are um, sort of just very private by nature and by sort of by necessity. By necessity as well. It's, it's funny you said that because I saw the first episode of the second season, and uh, I saw a difference. Like for your character, you're more, you have a better human side. Like you see something on the news and I don't want to spoil to, the, to our viewers what it is and you your first reaction is I have to act uh, I, I know this person we have to do something for your character it's like I don't give a damn yeah. uh, I, I don't believe to the world and I don't want to yeah, be able to be part of it they're in really different places yeah yeah I think Harry's in and, and but it also speaks to to the, the the nature of the the two characters as well you know I think I think Although I actually don't agree that they're in really different places. They've, they've made different decisions. But, but their point of view very... for the world, I think, is a little bit different. You would do anything to help uh, a fellow, I don't know, teammate. For let's, let's call it like that. For Harry, it's like... It's, it's in the well, past. I think, well, I think uh, there's also like... The, the pos you know, we kind of discussed this earlier, that, that the idea that, yeah, they both wanted to get away 
from the experience of the, the scarred experience of season one, but they've chosen very different paths, you know, in which to do that. And I think that Harry is really determined. He he's kind of done with it all, and he just wants to get as far away as possible, and he wants to hide, and he wants nothing more to do with it. Whereas I think we were saying that possibly Layla, although she's tried a different route in terms, of, you know, to try and get away from from her old job, she's still craving that not only does she have a sense of duty and honor that drives her but there's there's a she's 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 bored mm -hmm. and she's looking for she's looking for a way in but then this this thing you comes that she feels that she has no much better than Layla does. yeah <laughs> harry well i mean harry's not enjoying himself like being stuck out in mali having and sold a out a bit more stubborn Layla's obviously but he's gonna be the one to go and look for you isn't she? yeah and i think and i think he, it also takes him a while i think it probably takes him longer to snap out of that malaise so you know, she's he's hooked on the adrenaline Lay, Layla saw something um, and like you say she felt like she had to act harry is harry's stuck in a well of apathy at the moment so she's hooked on the adrenaline and your character is not as I understand. He's hooked on beer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me from the actor point of view, except this that you have to uh, think about past and future, what was so demanding in this season that you said, well, we have to go uh, on the other? Mm. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> the physical side. I mean, uh, Still? After the, the first season? Yeah. I think this, is, this, this really took its toll yeah. on us, like, uh, physically and mentally. We were, uh, you know, sort of most of the time the first ones in, and the last ones out at the end of the day. And we did, we, we only had stunt doubles who didn't actually, we have done pretty much most of our stunts. We only had stunt doubles for a tiny portion of the, the, um, the shoot. The shoot. Yeah. And we still did a lot of our own stuff, which <laughs> I think we, in hindsight, now regret. We, and it was down to it. Well, yes. I mean, we we were very much like the, in a, in a way that actors do go. No, we, we want to do, do it. We want to do as much as we can. And then, Big yeah. And then the insurance said, "No way." <laughs> no insurance said, "Fine, go for it." Insurance really? Said, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was it was exhausting. I mean, you, I don't not without spoiling it. Whoa. It's a very yeah, very physically and emotionally we demanding really season for both of us. Take them. beatings. Your group has some additional new characters. Lily, and uh, I want to ask you, how, how was it to work with them? How was it to, to put them in your new family of uh, Deep State? Amazing. Yeah. Just wonderful. The new cast is amazing. Uh, Lily, um, uh, Zainab, um, and Zainab Jar, Lily Banda, and Walton Goggins were just a beautiful, beautiful uh, addition to the family. They're just exciting, new, fresh. Like, uh, Lily's just a, a really fresh gorgeous natural actor uh, yeah and 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 walton is a wildling it's Thanks. just very interesting to watch um and it and brought a different energy to set which i think is i think it's always yeah and i think it's really important like and like all of them all of the new cast i think it's i think it's important if you're doing a second season of something to to freshen it up a little bit and yeah. you know we we managed to keep a lot of the same crew Together, obviously, we shot a lot in Cape Town and Morocco, so we had our South African crew who were amazing as well, and, and they came with us to Morocco. But when you've when you've got a lot of the same people, there's a chance that you just repeat the same thing. You know, you, you've got in a rhythm and you do the same things the same way. Mm -hmm. So you need some like some new blood in there to keep it fresh, and they all did that. And David Johnson, who's also part of our cast section of mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Deep State Two, is uh, playing a character called Isaac Turner. He's a brilliant, fresh, gorgeous new talent. Ah, uh, he's just phenomenal. So many. From the uh, movie point of view, I th when I was uh, watching the second season, I thought he's it's more cinematic than the the first one. The the like the quality of the <laughs> show uh, grew up a little bit. So. Yeah, and I th and I think it had to. You know, I think and not not just out of a desire to to build on what we've done with season one and to improve on it. I just think um, it, the, the, the story demanded it. You know, the locations that we were shooting in this time around, the world that we were inhabiting, it, it, it was a dramatic place to be. And uh, so we needed to capture that. That he's saying that only after episode one. 
Yeah, but you didn't oh, see it. Yeah. yeah, but still, you, you can see it. And is there a further story? You think there is a possibility of the third season? Is there any more stories to tell? Absolutely, as long as, as, long as there's news. There's hmm. always a story to tell, a story you can somewhat predict is yeah. coming. I think that's, I think, I think, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> there is, you know, like as Karima said, as long as there's news and there's a, a hell of a lot of it these days to try and make sense of, and uh, and so yeah, there there will always be, be good, good sources to mine. I think for that. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank David. You.